Ohio's current death penalty law has been in effect since the 1980s, but now some Ohio lawmakers want to abolish it. NBC4 State House reporter Natalie Fami tells us how they plan to do that. Natalie? The effort to abolish the death penalty has been ongoing for more than a decade. Tomorrow, a bill to do so has its first Senate committee hearing, and lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say this is the year to get it done. It's our belief that we as a society must be better than our worst criminals and better than our flawed justice system. Senate Bill 101, sponsored by Senate Minority Leader Nikki Antonio, when Senator Steve Huffman would end the use of the death penalty in Ohio and replace it with life in prison without parole. Having someone wake up every day, be in that space, and think about what they themselves did to put themselves there. Is justice served? It is, is, you know, two to three times more costly to put someone on death row than it is to put them in life in prison. Governor Mike DeWine, who was elected to the state Senate in 1980, co-sponsored a bill to restore the death penalty in Ohio. Just come off being a county prosecuting attorney. I thought it was the right thing to do. But now the governor says there have been no executions since he was elected and he does not expect any during the remainder of his term. An eight year period of time where we've had no executions in the state of Ohio. Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost says while this legislation brings forward a much needed debate, he supports the death penalty for the most heinous offenders. But DeWine says the moral justification has been that the death penalty is a deterrent for violent crime, but tells me he's unsure sure that remains true. We have to start questioning that now when we look at how it's been, been applied for many, many years because of uh, being tied up in court and whether or not it truly is, in fact, uh, a deterrent. And so I think that's where the, this debate, uh, frankly, needs to go. I believe it's indeed time for the state of Ohio to end capital punishment. Senate President Matt Hoffman says if a majority of his chamber does support the legislation, it opens the door for a conversation. Both sponsors of the bill do say Hoffman has been receptive so far. Local for you at the State House, I'm Natalie Fahmy, NBC4. All right, Natalie, thank you.